Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. It's been a hot minute since I made a balloon garland and I genuinely miss creating balloon garlands for you guys. I am in my warmest jacket. I am putting a coat on and we are going outside because it's snowing. You guys, it is so beautiful outside. My window is literally right behind the camera and I can't stop staring at what is happening outside. I am using Tuftix balloons today in two different shades of gray coral color and red pointy foiled self-sealing stars. I got uh, those gray shades and coral color from Tuftix. I will link and list everything in the description under this video. And foiled star balloons, they came from Amazon. They will be linked as well. Well, without any further ado, let's go prep our balloons, so grab everything we need, and let's go outside. And here are the balloons that I am using today. These are my red pointy stars. I have fog uh, color in four sizes, 5, 11, 17, and uh, 24 inch. Same sizes in gray smoke, and I have coral here, 11 inches and 7 inches. Teams. All ready to inflate my balloons. I am using my electric balloon pump. This pump is Zoom and I got it from Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company. If you would choose to buy anything from Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company, you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. This is an affiliate code and it's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. This code is valid only for your first purchase and if you're a new customer to Laura Del Paper and Balloon Company. So, I am working mainly with my fog and gray smoke balloons. These will be the base for my balloon garland. My coral color will be like a pop of color here and there. And my red balloons will be pop of color as well. So let's inflate our, let's go with gray smoke. I am not mixing up the colors. I am working with one color at a time. I am grabbing my 11 inch and 17 inch and starting to inflate and pair them. I will be inflating 11 with 11, I will mix in 11 with 17, I will be pairing 17 with 17. I mean playing around and creating different pairs of balloons. So I'm taking 11 inch balloons, inflating them into different sizes like this as soon as I am done inflating my balloons I will be pressing my balloons against the floor this step is absolutely and totally optional and it won't work if you will over inflate your balloons with air why am I doing that because I like my balloons to be a little bit more rounded some people don't mind a little bit more elongated look of balloons so it's totally up to you and I am tying these balloons together and here I have my first pair. I will be leaving my five inch balloons uh, uh, outside of my pairs. I will inflate them separately and I will um, fill in spaces with them a little bit later. So for now, I am working with 17 and 11. I'm gonna deal with all of the larger size latex balloons. I want to show you what I did with five inch balloons. So I inflated my five inch balloons. I tied them together into pairs. I am interwinding them together. I'm creating quads of balloons like this, grabbing another quad of five inch balloons, finding necks of those balloons from the inside of those quads and tying those necks together as tight as I can to create this bundle of balloons cluster okay something like this adding another quad of balloons to this just made cluster again tying everything by the necks of balloons Okay, and we're getting these little uh, kind of chunks of five inch balloons, so tiny uh, balloon garlands. I already pre-made 
another one like this and i really want to try to fill in spaces with these guys i've seen a lot of creators do that and i've done that before as well and i feel like i want to play around with uh, something like this again so let's go and uh, deal with all of this to cluster my balloons i am grabbing two different pairs of balloons and i am interlining them together grabbing another pair adding again interlining everything nice and tight together and one more pair so in total you will be interlining four pairs of balloons four pairs of balloons will give you a cluster of eight balloons all right so something like this done clustering my balloons I am packing them in a big white bags I like these bags they are very roomy very big and very comfortable but they're not as strong as I would like them to be they can tear apart pretty easily but they are comfortable I got them uh, on Amazon and I will link them in the description under this video I will leave my 24 inch balloons in every color aside and I will deal with them when I will be constructing my balloon garland. For all balloons, I think I want to, to work only with 11 inch balloons because I want the squirrel to be as an accent color and not have a lot of big balloons. So we'll see, I'll just set them aside and I will try to inflate my 11 inch balloons into smaller sizes and have less uh, of actual 11 inch balloons. Make these beautiful red stars. You guys, I am loving these balloons. They are beautiful. I will be inflating them with my hand pump. I never inflate my self-sealing balloons with electric balloon pump. This is what I noticed when I use uh, uh, electric balloon pump that electric balloon pump and that warm air uh, melts these uh, plastic inserts in my balloons and uh, they just start to deflate so I am always using a hand pump for these stars is not to tie these balloons way too close together you need to leave some room for tangling later on so i am grabbing these long tails that these balloons have and tying them together leaving some room between them okay looks great and let's pair the rest of it some of the balloons kind of deflated on me and it's okay it happens always happens at least one or two would deflate that's what i noticed in my pointy stars so this is the second one that deflated on me for each stars i will be using six pairs of pointy balloons i am taking them and interwining them together grabbing another one adding interwining everything together between the balloons here and there another one Here you have a beautiful star. This is why I left so much space between my pairs of uh, pointy balloons because once you interwind these together, they will hold each other. When you're gonna tie these way too close, you can rip your balloons and they will start deflating. By the time I prepped everything, it stopped snowing. <laughs> so hat on, coat on, my apron is on and uh, it's packed with a whole bunch of stuff like um, fishing line, curling ribbon, 260s balloons, uh, rubber bands and a few other things. And this is what's going on right now. Let's grab everything and go outside. It's very cold. It's still pretty out there. But looking at the forecast, it's supposed to rain. So instead of going on the snow, I will be going right here on my posts and create something under the roof partially at least to construct our balloon garland i am taking two clusters of balloons i am reaching 
inside of my balloons this is how everything looks in the middle and I am looking for the longest neck of balloons somewhere this is pretty long doing the same thing for my second cluster and tying those two necks together clusters will look when you will tie them together and this technique is very awesome because you don't have to use a lot of balloons to fill in spaces it's already one beautiful full piece of balloon garland also this technique will involve some of the finger strength and at first it might be a little bit difficult but you'll get used to it so Probably for the remaining of the video, I will do a voiceover because cars are driving and people will be walking. Once I had enough balloons in my balloon garland, I tied the garland straight to the post with curling ribbon. Always step back to look at what you did. When constructing a balloon garland, try not to droop down the top portion of your balloon garland. It will make your balloon garland look sad and short. I used rubber bands to attach extra clusters. Make sure to secure clusters from different sides to avoid flopping. This technique is very good for garlands. I love it because you can change the course of your balloons in no time. Literally like flip your clusters to another side and voila, the shape of your balloon garland is changed. I'm gonna add darker color balloons over here and kind of cascade this balloon garland between my bushes. If you don't feel comfortable using rubber bands, you can absolutely use 260s balloons or fishing line. I'm soaked, literally super wet. I'm gonna go change my shoes and put on warm socks. Right now I'm literally racing with time because sun is about to go down and uh, it's it will get dark really really fast so let's try to make this happen to attach balloons with rubber bands i fold my rubber bands in half wrapping around the neck of a balloon making that loop and feeding the second end of my rubber band through that loop tightening and here you have this loop that you can loop over any of the balloons and balloons will stay in place. Colorful balloons. I try to keep up of color in bunches and spots and now go all over the balloon garland with single colorful balloons. I try to spread the color evenly in zigzag pattern. Why zigzag? Because it keeps your eyes moving all over the balloon garland instead of being stuck on one spot on your balloon garland. And it's aesthetically pleasing. I am using 260s balloons, tying the 260 to my star balloon and tying these 260s tails straight to my balloon garland. If you're not comfortable with 260s, you can absolutely use a rubber band. I know, right? <laughs> Adding more balloons to fill the bottom because it looks a little bit empty and trying out 5 inch mini garlands. I always try before making it official. Attaching mini balloon garlands with rubber bands. Just came home. Let's go ask. What was this? What's your first impression? It looks good. And I almost officially lost all, all the daylight, but here is how I attached my balloon garland to my posts. I usually use a fishing line, but this time I used a curling ribbon and it works good. I tied this garland in two spots and then I tied it to the bush as well, just a tiny bit, but in this area it's kind of pointless to tie anything because the wind is really, really blowing from here. So hopefully everything's gonna be intact. We'll see how this balloon garland will 
perform throughout the night and these balloons as soon as I took them out they started becoming very very soft and the necks of balloons became very stiff very stiff I don't know I've never encountered anything like that with any other balloons but we'll see how they will look like tomorrow so you guys quality of these balloons I love the gray quality of balloons but these coral ones I lost I don't know how many but I lost a few of them they just deflated on me after I inflated and uh, quadded them and you guys just for the record it's supposed to be 26 degrees at night today so they will go through some very cold temperatures as you can see balloon garland changed its shape because it was extremely windy uh, yesterday at night so we'll see how everything looks when uh, we'll come out let's go and this is what we have today so let me uh, fix whatever happened here and this is how it looks you guys it looks really really good this is the best that I could have done to twist this balloon garland back to its shape original shape but what's going on with balloons you guys they look really good I am very surprised well I'm not surprised because Tuftix uh, is a good company good quality balloons and I barely see any deflation I see that my foil balloons some of the peaks they did deflate I did see one balloon that really deflated let's go in the back and see if I can find it but here right here this one really deflated but other than that you guys uh, definitely balloons last longer in cold than in the hot weather definitely and I didn't tie this balloon garland properly I should have tied the bottom to this bush like from the bottom but I tied it to one of the branches bad idea really make sure that you tie your garlands from every angle if you want your garland to stay in place and uh, my ribbon right here just because the bottom started twisting this way it twisted the whole uh, balloon garland right here I feel like I'm gonna leave this balloon garland even longer because it still looks great you guys one more thing if you get stuck on color palettes and you don't know what color to use I go to Google and I type in for example summer color palettes or winter color palettes or something like that and Google will give you a whole bunch of color palettes that you can use and get inspired I got this color palette that you see grays coral and red from Google as well I typed in Christmas color palette and this is what they gave me as colors and I transformed the colors into balloons and it looks beautiful sometimes you get stuck you guys sometimes I have trouble to see certain colors work together and sometimes I turn to Google and it helps me so yeah you guys I hope you enjoyed this and I will post some pictures at the end of this video see you in the next video bye